hi everyone hope you guys are well so in this video I'm going to show you how to read a plan drawing so we're going to look at um, exterior facade element only so here we got a plan so if we start from yeah, if you start from this side So I'm going to trying to zoom in. So now if we start from here, so we can see here is a, well, this is our architect draw, um, the external curtain walling glazing element. So you can see the glass, which is outside. And then the interior bit here, which is um, um, supporting the glass, uh, which is called mullions. The, you have to remember the vertical is called mullion and the horizontal is transom. So you go mullion inside. We go mullion inside, and then we go we go this bit which is transom interior bit. So that's. Yeah, so this is class as a curtain walling, so you can see, and then uh, this is a curved on plan curtain walling. Yeah, when it comes to curving glass, which is more expensive, and obviously longer lead time, and sometime, I think there is one or two supplier in UK who can provide a curved on plan glass only. Mm -hmm. So you have to go to um, uh, somewhere in Europe to. Uh, by the uh, this special glass. Now, so if you look at this element here, which is a, a column inside this column, and then outside you go some sort of concrete there, and then you go that bit, which looks like a cladding. So that will be a column cladding. So it could be metal or could be stone, which we don't know until we look at the spec. <clears throat> so after that, then we go, we go another curtain rolling screen here. However, we go double toe within the curtain walling element, which is here, and, <clears throat> and that is open out. And then you go same thing again, which is column cladding. And then after the we go another curtain screen which is curved on plan but you have to bear in mind with this double door which shows us a little bit of curving um, on, the, on the market which is not available so you have to raise an RFI to architect and clarify uh, the design issue Then we go column cladding there. Then we go curtain walling there. Then we go curtain walling here as well. So with this curtain walling, this is called um, SSG because there is no cap. It's not showing any cap outside of the mullion. So we can imagine um, that will be an SSG, which is a silicone glaze system. So there are two um, uh, main system within the curtain walling. So one is cap system and the other one is uh, SSG system.
and after that we go to a column cladding there and then we go another column cladding obviously it has a different shape but it's the same product then we go column cladding there Then again we go curtain rolling there and that shaded area uh, it's a cladding again and I think that's a or cladding or insulated panel glazing to curtain rolling um, is same thing here as well and then we go another insulated panel there which would be glazing to curtain walling so you go glass and then insulated panel glaze into um, curtain walling it could be 28 mil which is as a minimum or same thickness as glass and then you go insulated panel there you go glass there insulated panel there Yeah, then you go curtain rolling, curtain rolling, insulated panel. Go column cladding. Column cladding. Then you go insulated panel. Yeah, I think that's it. So that's how uh, you need to read the plan drawing. And obviously you'll have to match with the elevation drawing. And then you need to refer back to um, specification as well. Um, to do your takeoff. So if you got any question, yeah, please uh, leave in the comment box. And thank you for watching.